Good morning. Good morning. I've been trying to catch up in my Hobonichi. I cleaned off some of my desk, believe it or not. And I started my page, but it was so disjointed. I had to stop. I was going to do a voiceover. I'm like, that isn't even going to work. So I'm going to talk you through. All right. This was, this was Dr. Nope. And that's Dr. Nope. Not to be confused with Dr. No and James Bond, Dr. Nope. And he is a competing archaeologist, but he is a um, medical herbist specialist. So he got wind of the fact that there was this treasure and an archaeology dig and hoping that he could find some magical herbs. That's the story. Then we have section three. That's the end of the obstacles. He's an obstacle because he's competing and taking things from the treasure and artifacts. So then, this is a piece of paper from the Richland County Rec Center <laughs> that I painted years ago. And I stenciled some fish on here and went with gold metallic paint so that you can see a little bit of that, hopefully, as a background. And then I didn't know what to do. The prompt that I gave myself is treasure chest. We are now in the section called, what did she find? Um, and these are all self-imposed. What was found? So she found a treasure chest. Couldn't find a treasure chest. That's where everything went haywire. Couldn't find a treasure chest anywhere in any of my stuff. So I just got a couple pictures from Pinterest images, um, free images and I'm just going to make a stack of treasure chests and call it a day. Um, I haven't done a stack of something in a long time. I kind of wanted to do something I hadn't done before, and that's when I got out the stencil. And that was working until I couldn't find a treasure chest. And I know I couldn't draw one that would look like a treasure chest. And it could have been abstract since so much stuff is abstract in this book. But I really didn't want to do that. So I like stacking things at times. And we may not use all of these. I printed four. These are the images I did find. I found like gold doubloons. And I started cutting those out. And then I found like a uh, an old fashioned um, luggage carpet bag. And I'm like, nope, neither, neither one of those really work. I'm getting so much spam stuff that is asking for money from people that I don't know. That one just said auto insurance due $378. Uh, no, my auto insurance does not come from a non-entity. It comes from an insurance company. And those, those spams that um, infiltrate people's accounts and it looks like they're using their picture into their on their name and all those are like I'm getting tons of those too so I think I'm just going to glue these down so do I need to have something in the middle yes I do we're going to poke holes on this one so yeah I'm sorry I started this one without you but it went haywire real fast I was like, this is just misjointed and disjointed and everything else. And I was like, okay, I'll do a voiceover. I'm like, that doesn't even work. The dog came in and stole stuff and it was a mess. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to turn it off and do it later, <laughs> which is what happened. Even though I had already started this, but now it's nice and dry. So things will stick well, which is good. I was telling my husband about this squeaky desk and he might, when we get home from the beach for the final time, he might try to make me something that goes over the top of it, kind of like a fake top over this table. And maybe that'll help with the squeak. I don't know. Oops. I have this gold to bloom like looking thing. But if I put that there, it just is like, why is that there? So maybe we'll, it'll go over here somewhere. No, it needs to go back here. Because that was this is where the description will be. So I'm just going to...
post it to here and have it when I'm finished. I did add a couple more. Well, I tried to add a couple more storylines. This is her, about her tools. Sarah's favorite tools. Not far from Sarah's side are her rucksack, her journal, her camera. Oh, I said journal twice. Her magnifying glass and her beloved journal. That needs to be corrected, obviously. Um, and then I have the bottle, but this is not good. I got to put it on a different background. Sarah found a bottle. After, a, I can't even read it. After a very strong hurricane, Sarah found a bottle on the beach. A beautiful old bottle. After opening it, she found two pieces of paper inside. The first one was a map, and the second one was a piece of paper that was partially readable. So, that's all about the bottle. And then we need to do her tent on the beach and the setup in her tent. And then we're done with section one, the writing, which some of it has to be redone now. So we're farther behind, but that's okay. Not really behind because there's no schedule, just stuff. Still like this a lot. Illness. I like this one. And I like this one. And that's not too bad. Maybe you need a little color around here. Can't go wrong with a little stabilo. <laughs> so it's not quite so in your face it just turns into a shiny or not shiny but a grungy shadowy effect and I think that's going to be it I like it a little disjointed, but I like it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.